morning everyone how are you all good okay uh speaking of the f1 theme let's start this presentation with a quick video uh, vishal do you play a video in today's complex fast paced world you need a partner who can help secure your digital transformation so you can drive your business forward confidently you need a partner who can not only protect your digital infrastructure today but also make it resilient for the future who has deep experience in data security but is agile enough to anticipate evolving threats who understands complex compliance challenges and can help you navigate them you need someone who can fine tune and integrate the secure technologies that enable the mobile identities digital payments and hybrid workforce required at this moment You need a partner who will have your back so you can stay focused on the road ahead and accelerate your organization's growth. And trust securing a world in motion. Thank you. So, yep. Like Calvin introduced, uh, I'm Sagar I look after channels and alliances for interest in India and what we are going to do today is just look back at what we did in FY23 and see how we can replicate that in FY24 they say that to succeed you must know what you know what you did right in the first place so we'll just go through this see how the year was and take it from there on yes so FY23 was a very nice year for Entrust um, recovering from the covid setback deals progressing it was a wonderful year and that reflected well in the revenue as well we grew 40% 42% against the previous year and i value enjoyed a market share of 80% so a big round of applause to you all uh, for this some of the key measurable metrics that that reason why i would call it a wonderful year the number of deal registrations the number of new resellers that we onboarded uh, and when i say onboarded these are the resellers who have been actively bringing in opportunities and doing business with us now a couple of hydras deals uh, it was a new acquisition for us in fy21 and as a region hydras is something which uh, as you know we want to develop the organization the senior management wants to build more and more business around these solutions because these are uh, you know subscription model licenses we had our first ever consumer authentication deal in india so my colleague santosh will talk more about it but the reason that's a major highlight for us is because that opens doors for multiple opportunities consumer authentication what it does how it will do we'll see in the coming minutes but that is something which we can replicate and have a tremendous revenue on that some marketing activities that we did with the team in terms of purely the a uh, number of initiatives we drove the kind of attendance we had across different cities uh, it was amazing uh, you know as the world moved again towards physical events from digital events it was really refreshing to see the kind of audiences we had revenue new logo wins uh, you know i saw in a couple of previous presentations as well the focus on new logos new customer acquisitions more than 60% of that revenue which i speak about has been from new logos another very key measurable and a good success story for us fy24 has started well we have a healthy pipeline going into it already few orders booked few orders on the way so overall from 23 to 24 it's a good start what exactly has been good about fy23 what is it that we are looking at fy24 purely from customer base purely from customer acquisition partner acquisition i'll hand over to santosh to talk about it uh, on the next slides Thanks Agar. Uh, hello guys, how are you? Good. Okay, uh, so let's start with you know the top wins what we have done. Uh, so first example is you know obviously the, the first you know the private bank in India. So from last you no know, few years uh, the IM solutions what we have. Okay, we used to sell the organization internal employees use cases and i can say you know this is the first bank with the help of i value and this is a first bank for us also you know which is a consumer authentication is a use case 
we have one with you know i value so again you know i want the big applause from everyone uh, who has you know i mean help me to achieve this deal okay so just to give the background of this deal this is a almost you know top 3 banks uh, i mean which ha- which is having approximately a 10 million users and just to start with you know we have started this deal with 2.5 million users right now so you can see there is a lot of expansion also you know involved so this is just a start i can say and thanks to you know i value team obviously lalit rajaram lakshmi is there everyone you know i mean saurabh is also there you know to help us within this deal so this is the deal with 2.5 million users what we have started okay and there was a problem statement you know given by the customer so first discuss uh, we'll discuss about the problem statement the problem statement was you know uh, right now they are using some competition product okay and this consumer authentication this 2.5 million users i mean i say instead of talking about 2.5 million users uh, the 10 million users whatever they have uh, it's a diversified user and they were using for their you know corporate internet banking plus there was a mobile application also plus for every credit card debit card which they are issuing to you know uh, the consumers they are issuing this otp okay so this users was you know diversified and they were facing a lot of problems first how to diversify that users how to you know remove that users from you know that consumer authentication so that you know the license policies will be very effectively so that was the first problem statement for this private bank the second was you know the customer complaints while accessing the internet banking while accessing the mobile application there were loss of loss of otp okay so that type of customer complaints the third complaints problem statement was you know the poor support also from the oem so there were you know few use cases uh, which actually gave us opportunity the, the that was opportunity to enter us to identify this problem statement and how we identify obviously we have that interest id consumer premium bundle which we have pitched to bank okay bank has you know the scalability i mean they are looking for a scalability option also so not only generating otp but they were looking for a solution who can provide a risk and adaptive authentication also if i'm talking about the bank compliances okay in uh, the bank uh, the rbi guidelines is talking about risk and adaptive authentication also along with you know the two factor authentication not only that bank was also looking for the scalability that in future they should have the solution like rasp or the solution like you know uh, the fraud detection and all so if i compare all this you know problem statement okay, there is a loss of otp there is you know i mean uh, they cannot you know diversified across the consumer they have you know the consumer growing at every stage at now they are talking about 2.5 million but within next 3 years they are talking about you know 10 million users okay so considering all this you know problem statement interest was a perfect pitch you know and we have sold this you know with the help of i value uh, that is a consumer authentication first deal in india okay the next and uh, so with with this example you know of this private bank what are you know i mean interest and i value how we can you know go ahead in the market see to have a strong uh, ecosystem within the organization okay how how we are looking i value help okay so we have a identity access management system and with the help of this identity access management system we are focusing on you know certain verticals so the verticals like obviously the banking is a major vertical for us the next is you know is a government the third is a insurance so you can see the consumer authentication can be you know available in everywhere right you you talk about top 15 banks you talk about any cooperative banks they need you know consumer authentication you talk about government if they are providing some sort of solutions to the citizens of india they need you know consumer authentication you talk about insurance companies obviously they have also you know consumer base right so this consumer authentication solution is a is you know fy24 strategy and interest i value we can work together to find out you know the proper channel partners so that we can cater you know uh, this use case to other uh, verticals also so one is a consumer authentication the second you know the same organization has you know their internal employees also okay so whatever the bank just now we have closed you know two months back we were talking about consumer authentication but the same bank has you know the internal employees also 
and these internal employees may be in the range of 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 or more. Okay, specifically if I'm talking about the top five or six banks, they have in the range of 25,000 to 30,000 also. And what they are accessing, they are accessing the complete infra within the organization. Okay, the complete infra as in you know, I mean, they are VPN where they need authentication, their application. the n numbers of cloud application n numbers of you know the on premise application so obviously consumer authentication is a first use case where you can talk to you know the different verticals the second you know uh, use case is a workforce for their internal employees that is a identity access management and obviously we have a zero trust framework over there when we are talking about our identity access management there are three pillars actually included okay first is a digitally onboarding of your users the second you know whenever user is uh, accessing their application or any infra or any use case they need to authenticate and the third is you know the continuous monitoring of that we call it as a risk and adaptive so example same what we are providing a for a consumer authentication the same we can replicate for their internal users also that is you know the identity access management portfolio we can focus on and just to talk about you know the main verticals right now for me is banking financial and the government that needs to focus obviously there are healthcare industries also there are other verticals also where there are compliance like you know pci dss the hipa compliance there are many compliance you know which needs to follow you know for the 2fa multi factor authentication right so that was you know one of the use case one of the use case consumer authentication and the workforce we can focus and we call it as a zero trust framework we can you know work together for this verticals yeah next so the second top win i mean obviously that private bank was you know the last year win i can say we have just closed on before 31st march okay but to start with a new year fy24 i think this is one of the biggest deal you know we have closed with i value and uh, obviously this is for e passport so as a handle you know the im solution i am handling a digital certificate solutions also and this digital certificate solution has you know the different type of use case which i am going to discuss on the less uh, next slide but specifically talking about this use case e passport so we are a pki gartner leader okay and using this pki technology we have sold this solution to the government of india okay and this is a e passport just to give the basic knowledge of you know this e passport very soon you know this e passport is going to come in the market and what is the use of you know uh, our technology over there so this passport has a chip inside it okay and whatever the data you have on a passport you can sign that data and store into that chip okay and whenever you go into a different countries right now maybe you have a n numbers of you know immigration queues where uh, the inspection officer checking your passport checking your system and then allow him right but enters as a unique point we have developed this solution in 55 countries and in asia pacific region i think india is you know one of one of the most populated country right so this is again a big win for us this we are talking only about one location and this is going to expand up to 90 location so india is looking for approximately 90 locations okay and what we are providing in a layman language if i wanted to explain we are signing the data of the citizen we are storing on the onto the chip and whenever this citizen is you know going over the borders uh, maybe you know in different countries no need for you know different queues and all he can just you know i mean put it on a device that data can be read and then the immigration counter will be open and he can pass so no need of you know the inspection officer and all okay same we are doing for with uh, eye scanner uh, with you know the biometric and all so this is e passport india and this is one of the use case i am talking about you know so what is the use of pki uh, i mean we can see in the next slide so there are common use cases for you know pki day to day life so you can see on slide the left hand side is a common use cases and the right hand side is a emerging use cases okay let's talk about first you know the common use cases so pki ssl certificate you guys know right the web applications the browser is talking about everywhere you need you know https if it is not your page cannot be load right or maybe you know it will show as a error message so ssl again it's a million dollar business okay this is a common use case of a pki it is actually derived from pki okay so using ssl you you talk about any organization i mean i know i value has a enterprise team okay which is focusing on you know the particular enterprises you talk to that enterprise team 
they are purchasing you know this ssl in the range of 25 to 50 lakhs and this is you know the subscription basis okay so you name top 15 bags that is already with interest and they are using this ssl certificate for their web application similarly the device authentication using pki we can give a certificates to device so device can be anything device can be your laptop server device can be your i mean networking devices so this pki you, we can give you know the certificate to it and using this certificate you can give identity to each and every device and whenever the communication happen between this device there will be encryption right so that device authentication is there there, there are you know other use cases also for example you talk about any banks any vertical there are employee strength are there they are using their email boxes to sign their email digitally signing of email we have solution right to encrypt the email also between you know two parties we have the smim certificate then uh, talking about document signing every organization generate their you know documents po invoices whatever the forms so this is a common use cases you talk to your bank you talk to your any vertical they require this solution okay but right now you know using pki we are talking about the emerging solution also so e passport is one of the example which we have you know it's a million dollar deal we have closed but iot when i'm talking about machine identity iot is also important so you have a healthcare verticals right you have a manufacturing verticals they have their own manufacturing process and within this manufacturing process they are using this iot device also and for these iot devices we are providing the iot security using the certificate obviously identity is required this iot device is talking to application this iot device is talking to you know other uh, devices right so there you know the identity is required there encryption is required so that is iot security we can you know provide so what is the project you can see so in government there are smart city projects where they are talking about smart cctvs okay, within that smart city you know there, there's a chip also included we can have a pki solution over there right that is iot we are talking about you talk about smart meters there also you know they required a pki solution you talk about e passport we just you know have the pki you talk about any organization or a data center that has you know a different active passive component that has a different types of endpoints where they required you know this type of certificates or not for what identity and the encryption so that is you know the emerging technology what we are talking about okay so one is a common use cases which we can cater together and one is a new emerging technology this can be a strategic deal okay so why you know i'm showing all this when you are talking to your organization or when you are selecting partners they have you know so much on platter to cross sell okay you can talk about ssl you can talk about identity access management for their internal employees you can talk about you know the identity access management for their consumers you can talk about their complete device authentication so that is a complete umbrella of solution we have and the next slide you know is explaining the same can you just give it so this data in motion and data access this is handled by me and obviously data at rest you know the hsm will be uh, explained by saga but this is important data in motion and data access this is the complete solutions what we are providing and right now the approach for fy24 okay so for example i said 15 banks is already my customer they are already using my ssl certificate some of them are using already hsm but still you know there is a lot of on the platter we can talk about identity access management for their internal employees for their consumers we can talk about you know the document signing we can talk about the smi so the complete portfolio you know i wanted to show there is a lot we are talking about and a lot of innovations also what we are bringing. So in IAM, maybe many companies are talking about passwordless authentication as a push authentication. But this is not a pure passwordless authentication. Okay, so using our PK technology, we can provide a pure passwordless authentication. So for example, I am an employee. I am coming to you know, uh, my organization using my mobile, which has a certificate. I can access the door without entering any login password. I can go on my system also without entering any login password. I can, you know, using the Bluetooth technology, I can enter into my laptop. Then there is an N numbers of application which looking for, you know, the SS solution. Same, you know, the passwordless authentication, we can have it. So with this, I think uh, we have a less time and I wanted to give it to, you know, Sagar. Really sorry, Sagar. So thanks, Santosh. You know, uh, I'll stay on this slide for one more second before I move to a couple of next slides quickly. One thing I wanted to highlight in this slide was the last line item in grey, professional services. Because that's something which I value as a value added distributor can play a big role in. Uh, identity access management is still a common technology, but if you look at PKI, high trust, HSMs, these are niche technologies. And 
while we have lot of use cases and adaptability for these solutions in the market there are not enough skills available and that's where uh, you know i value can help us in terms of supporting the customers at the same time this is a big add on revenue and pure play bottom line for uh, you know sales team a uh, couple of more wins i'll just jump through them uh, like santosh mentioned uh, on the hsm side uh, you know there are different use cases primary use case of any hsm is key management and key signing speed uh, certifying authority the root cca of india is a user of enter essential hsms and subsequently that gives us a very good reference case for new ca setups that are happening basically ca setup or a certifying authority is someone who authenticates your websites you authenticates your data and they are authorized by the root ca of the country so one of the new ca setup that happened this year we had a very good win uh, strongly supported by the i value team it was an opportunity that came from your end and uh, supported then by enter sales and technical teams customer primarily wanted a scalable model as they are a new customer uh, they wanted to have it in such a way that they can start low and then go big so that's where entrus on field upgradeability feature is something which was big use no a smart city again adaptability we see everywhere there is lot of smart city adaptability across the country where we are having the uh, you know iot of things digitization of things that's where hsms add root of trust to the solution in terms of key management and uh, authentication uh, one more use case on the banking side is was more around a payment bank which came up existing user they were not happy with them they wanted to be compliant with the rbi guidelines as well as the aadhaar data world guidelines from uidi that's where hsms and key management form a core component of the whole solution stack and uh, again one of the things that we were able to strongly demonstrate was our scalability and the key signing speed commitments uh, which helped us win this account so you know last one minute one simple question i i played a video before and any idea or any guesses as to why that video i played it today absolutely one thing that i realized when i saw the theme i got the slides couple of days ago from nageshwar that you are looking at formula 1 acceleration speed and interest things in the same direction that video which i played was created by interest a few months ago and what really stuck to me was that as organizations the mind share the direction in which both the organizations are thinking are in the same track so that was a good positive sign for me to know that my distributor is working in the same direction that we are so i'll leave today with few key takeaways that we have for fy24 it looks good we have a strong pipeline we have had some really good closures to already to begin the year and it's not across one solution portfolio but across multiple portfolios so we want to build on that we want to ensure that we are able to build our business rather than just focusing on point closures focus on cross selling don't want to look at different use cases like you know raja ram can testify here we already are you know had one good deal with the private bank we are looking at selling other solutions to them as the deployment progresses so just focus on our existing partners and customers cross selling the multiple solutions in the portfolio will give us additional revenue and good opportunities key initiatives to drive new logo acquisitions uh, like you know i saw the presentation focus is on new logos because organizations don't just want to go deep they want to go wide as well with new customer acquisition so we should focus on new acquisitions uh, i would ask all the sales team to just focus on two things top 5 customers top 3 channel partners let's build on that let us focus with those partners and we'll be able to expand well uh, post quantum readiness will dive into it later so with that and a big thank you to all of you because all of this all the good things that we did all the good things we are doing won't be possible without the team here everyone uh, you know manish i heard mention the kind of support he gets from i value i i don't have that many years with i value as checkpoint has but i am sure i look to replicate that and i resonate every word that he said the support that we get at quarter end from order loading team business technical finance legal is amazing so a big round of applause to you all and a big thank you from interest and i think we missed some name uh, but thanks to you know i value team for you know whatever the key wins we have done okay i mean uh, each of one of you you know i mean is a great support to us for you know winning this team and obviously the shift up is a theme basically and with this formula 1 we can you know i mean go towards the 
jet or maybe uh, then you know we can launch the rocket also with the help of you know the i value support so thank thanks a lot uh, to you know each, each of you